Uh, let's just talk briefly then about James Collins, because that's quite a big deal. Collins joins Mick McCarthy on um, over at Cardiff on a three transfer. And Collins has been really, really decent, hasn't he, for Luton over the years. Bit of a goal machine there. He's one where the contract has run down, um, Collins, and he's leaving Luton. There is a bit of a sense that Luton themselves want to regenerate that squad and move away from the League One squad and move forward now, having finished in the middle of the table this season. Here is the Cardiff website. Um, Cardiff is delighted to announce the club has agreed to sign forward James Collins. Um, he's signed until 2023, so two-year contract, 181 goals. How about that? Um, an international there um, in 2019 and handed his first cap by guess who? Mick McCarthy, who is his manager at Cardiff. Mick always exploits his contacts, doesn't he? Uh, Colin said to Cardiff TV, to be here today to sign for this great club is a real honour. I can't wait to get going. I'm an honest player. I work hard for the team. I like to link up play and I like to think my main attribute is scoring goals. That's what I've What's what I love doing, and hopefully I can score lots here. Uh, the gaffer, McCarthy, also says, really good signing for us. He's been on an upward trajectory all his career, going from the lower league to the championship, and he's kept scoring goals. So Collins signs for Luton. I suppose that, sorry, signs for Cardiff from Luton. I suppose that's the biggest transfer so far, really, since the end of the season. It would have had to have been a contract expiry job, wouldn't it? And... Will we see Kiefer Moore paired with James Collins up top? A couple of championship brutes there. Collins is 30 years old, December 1990. Uh, here is the Wikipedia for Collins there, if you can read that. Started at Villa and then Mick says an upward trajectory. He's right after he drops down to League Two in Shrewsbury. And he is just a goal scorer, isn't he? Look, you can see 14. Um, it's a start there for Shrewsbury in 2014. Then 15 for Swindon, goes off to Hibs, doesn't really work out. Back to Shrewsbury, 15, and then a five, goes on loan to Northampton, eight for them. And then for Crawley, 20 in League Two in 1617. And then he goes to Luton, and it's been goals, goals, goals there. Look, 19 um, in a promotion from League Two, 25 goals in 44 in League One, and a 14 and a 10 in the Championship. So, um, James Collins, get your thoughts in on that one. Cardiff fan, Luton fan. Collins has made the move, I guess, given what McCarthy has said, being a player who's done the lower divisions. If it is an end of contract and a payday, no one begrudges James Collins that. How do you think he'll do? For Cardiff, I'm interested to know, um, will will he improve them? It's certainly extra ammunition up top. They've got Kiefer Moore, obviously, who's the, the main guy there. Um, Max Waters is there as well. He came in from Crawley, didn't he? But Collins, you would think, would move ahead of him. And could they be a fearsome front to their Collins uh, moving across? Any comments in on that one, uh, Chris? Uh, you could say James Collins is a typical McCarthy sign and reinforces the way they'll play. Criticism is too similar to Moore. Ideally, you want one of them beside pace. Yeah, um, good point. Uh, Collins, more experience, maybe help improve Moore. Yeah, uh, Moore's no spring chicken yet. He's done the same route. But, you know, Mick, he might well just stick both of them in in a 4-4-2 in a and just go for it. Um, Mightn't he? So uh, Collins in there. Anybody else on that? A uh, bit of a weird one. Should have gone to Borough. McCarthy or Warnock there. What's your poison? Um, uh, Caps Cow says, I like Collins. Proper aggressive striker. Always in amongst the goals. Good finisher as well. Good. Um, good. And for Mick as well, he can take a penalty. It'll be good defending set plays. Um, just a useful, useful player isn't he? Brandon, uh, Keith Moore had a great year. Collins gives a good option. Should he gets injured, also gives an option of playing alongside him. So let me know what you think in the comments. 
Uh, James Collins is done from Luton. I think Luton fans um, are sort of gracious in him going. And obviously with Elijah Adebayo coming into Luton, they've already got a replacement at the club there. And Luton will hope to continue their trajectory up, which has been fairly steep over the last few years. And now they find themselves in the middle of the championship. There we go. Um, keep your comments coming in, guys.